30 second drawings and how this can help you improve your art. G'day, I'm Bill Flowers, I'm the Snake Artist and today I'm going to draw some dinosaurs because I love dinosaurs and I'm going to do it in 30 seconds. Each dinosaur picture, 30 seconds flat. That's what I'm going to do. Let's go back to the studio. Ready, set, go. Oh man, this is how much can I get in 30 seconds? Look at Shady. Can I get those teeth in? They look a little bit like a T-Rex. Right. Go. Thing is with this, it sort of makes you decide what is important and what is not important. And then it's got energy. Fish. Oh, okay. Here we go. Now after I'm, I'm going to explain why I'm doing this in a moment. Okay, ready, set, go. No, go. <laughs> I think I've got more time than I have, but gosh, I haven't got much time at all. Come on, let's get it before the clock goes. Oh, okay. Why did I do that? Why did I put myself through that much pain? This is why. Okay, the four benefits of drawing fast like that. It's actually called gesture drawing when you're drawing really quick. Benefit number one, time. Time. Saves you a lot of time. Uh, you can fill up a sketchbook really quickly and the more you draw, the better you become. Number two. Okay. Warm-ups. If you want to draw a subject, if you do a lot of really quick, fast sketches beforehand, before you actually tackle that subject, you've done your warm-ups, it's like exercise, you're ready to go. Number three, this is a clever one. Diff. Big title. Instinctive drawing. You can almost draw by instinct. If you train yourself up and you do your warm-ups, you've spent a lot of time on this, what happens is you get what's called muscle memory. You look at something, you just explode, you just start drawing it, even though you're not even looking half the time. You, you, know, you can look there, you scribble here, creates a scribbly mess, but you instinctively draw. You're training your muscles to react to what you see. Bang, you react. And number four is the important one. Mess. Mess is good. Okay, actually I'm going to change that. I saw you say that all the time. No worries. So, like I said, well, like you almost saw me put there, make a mess. People have this thing where they are so worried about making a mistake. They're so worried about other people seeing that they've made a mistake. They, especially when you get a class um, of people all together, they're really worried about what the person next to them is going to see. If they're in an art class, they're worried, oh, they're not good enough. They feel like the person next to them is better than they are. And they get this thing where they face a, a blank page and they're frightened to, frightened to do anything. Look, if you've had that feeling, leave a comment below. Let me know. 
Have you ever been afraid of what other people think? That's one thing. Doing this, you're going flat out. You're going to make a mistake. You saw what I've done. Look at the Spinosaurus. It looks like a cranky duck. Okay? I've made a mistake. I've put it up online for you guys to all laugh at it. No worries. It's only 30 seconds. I make a mistake. I've allowed myself to make that mistake. I'm relaxing. So this is what people have to do. They have to relax, chill out, make mistakes. No worries. I hope this has been useful. Look, if it has been useful, leave a comment. Let me know. Always willing to put up with the insults of that just looked like a cranky duck or a crazy croc. Didn't look quite like a Spinosaurus. Oh well. Till next time. Catch you later. Oh, and check out this other video.